Yeah, I just wanted <laughs> to drill a PCB board, so I took out my Proxon IBSE and I realized last time I used it, I uh, uh, got a collet stuck in here. Yeah, that's the rest of the collet stuck in there and I can't get it out. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, you will get a teardown video of a Proxon IBSE and repair, hopefully. Let's get started. And just as a warning, that collet came from uh, such a set for uh, $1.99 or $4.99, don't ask me. Yeah, you see there's one missing because it's sticking in there. And yeah, these things simply <laughs> disintegrate when you talk them down. So uh, don't use them and uh, yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. I'll start with the four screws back here and I'm using a Torx 10 bit. And I expect them to be quite long. Yeah, going all the way into the aluminum body at the front. Yes, indeed. And now the electronics compartment should come off and yeah, it's all <laughs> There's the power tranny or triac or SRC. I don't know. I'm probably not getting that out. No. Yeah, but looks nice and uh, yeah, with the coolant fan, uh, coolant opening in the back and I guess there's a fan here in the front drawing the air through it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now let's try if we can get this off. Yeah, quite easily. And there's your fan. It's obviously directional. <clears throat> These thingies cannot go left or right hand. They always turn in the right direction, in the same direction. <clears throat> Sorry. And I could get the motor out. Ah. Oh, let me change the bit and yeah, this is not plastic. This is a uh, looks like a sintered metal gear, sintered metal gear. While here the connection, this is plastic. Yeah, where the gear goes in. Okay, uh, another bit. Hmm. So now I'm using a Philips bit, but uh, no, just killing the screws. I uh, need something else, just a second. That should do the job, hopefully. Yeah. Not self-tapping screws, but definitely, yeah. There was some Loctite on that. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Second one. It feels like because of the Loctite, uh, am I in focus? Thank you. Uh, it feels like a self-tapping screw because of the Loctite, but in fact it's not. And now you can get the motor out, which is quite beefy. Yeah, <clears throat> the innards. 
nothing to see here. And it is definitely a brush motor. Yeah, nothing special about it. Brushed DC motor. Okay, let's get to the interesting part. How... How does that go apart? Uh, I have absolutely no idea and I have no idea if you can take it apart. Uh, give me a second. I have to <laughs> admit I read up the documentation. Uh, this part here, the top part, yeah, that comes off. You can screw this off. Hopefully, maybe. Ah, that was easier than suspected. Yeah, I nicked it anyway a little bit, but who cares? And now there's a little bit of play. Ah, and I can see the bearing. Yeah, that one is a bit wobbly to give a little bit of force. I put this here in the right order to the side and now I'm stuck again. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> that was a mess and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't show that, but uh, when it came apart, it came apart quickly. So I started out with yeah, the bearings in here and just pressing the whole thing a wee bit out from this side. Applying, yeah, uh, basically hand pressure with, uh, what did I use? Yeah, that tool. It had right, uh, yeah aboutish the right size and at some point that didn't went go any further yeah this was still stuck on here and then i had the collet nut on had the whole thing in a vise and with two screwdrivers yeah simultaneously from both sides yeah uh draw it out a little bit further this went so far until yeah the first bearing came out it was still not enough so next thing uh, in the vise still with the collet nut on i used the grip here and uh, then i had some leverage <coughs> sorry leverage on the body of the vise to uh yeah draw the whole thing out yeah <clears throat> and if you want to actually uh change the two bearings there are two bearings here you have these lock rings uh can i get a zoom yeah which are that a lock ring yeah that's a lock ring there's one on the other side too yeah I mean you will <laughs> probably have a hell of a time <clears throat> getting that out without uh, the right tools which I don't have anyway uh, my idea why I took that apart in the first place. Yeah, two nice bearings. 
uh, was to access um, yeah the remains of that collet uh, from the back but uh, this is so hard pressed on in the plastic part and uh, that if you get that out of yeah you won't get it on I mean you would get it on again but it probably because yeah this is a torque transferring part from the motor uh, yeah you probably have destroyed this um, yeah anyway I could have known that beforehand uh, yeah this axle is not hollow so I need another way to get that stuff here out yeah this is probably a bad idea, but yeah, I will try to drill it out. Yeah, the, the drill is much larger than the whole assembly, but uh, should uh, smaller, but is just a little bit bigger than the inner diameter of the collet. So wish me luck. It's doing something. I have no idea what they made that collet out, but uh, off, but phew. This is quite hard material. Something happened. I don't know what. But the whole thing is now a little bit further down. I can hopefully drill the rest out. Uh, let me get one of the original coll uh, collets and see if it fits in here. No, there is still material in there. Cannot really make it out. Hmm. Yes, I can. Let me try it, run it the other way around. But yeah, that's not a broken bolt, which you can uh, hopefully turn back out when you uh, go left hand turn. It's, it's just a collet. Uh, let me think. And as luck would have it, I have a drill exactly, or I hope exactly, 4.8 millimeters the diameter of the collet so maybe oh yeah I think that's it not 100 oh look at all the material and now if I can find the collet again oh yeah and here that's a <laughs> part of the broken collet Ah, there it is. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, uh, the collet is fitting again. And I don't think I messed it up too much. Looks still good. So let's uh, get all this, uh, whatever material that is, stuff off here. And then put it back together. Putting everything back together shouldn't be that hard because from one side all we need to do is to press on the fan again. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and even if it's just the plastic part, Uh, it's not so easy to get it started. Uh, let's put the collet nut on to protect the axle and hammer it with some wood. Okay, that's much better but we are not quite in yet so I Use that tool again, I used to press it out, but this time, 
Yeah. Huh. I need something to put here on the ventilator so I can hammer that down a little bit more. Uh, just a second. Okay, a wee bit of wood. So focus okay? Yeah. So <laughs> let's hammer on. Huh? Uh, still not on completely, but maybe that's okay. I'm not quite sure. Um, let me go back and watch at the videos again before I got it out. How deep actually, yeah, the fan was on the axle. Okay, things getting a little bit kinky. I think that should do it. Okay. There's still some play, but I think it's not moving anymore. Yeah, I mean, this is plastic. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's it now. <clears throat> yeah, I will go down. Back down again. Sorry. Uh, forgot to play uh, press record. So I'm just uh, putting the motor and the screws back in. Talking them down real good. And now my freshly reassembled thingy should go on here. It's not really indexed. Oh yeah, it, it's kind of indexed. So yeah, you, you, it, it won't fit perfectly if you do it, uh, put it on the wrong way. So yeah, let's go down a little bit further. And the motor part, wonderful. And let's put one bolt in. That was actually a little bit tricky. And I used, yeah, exactly the torque bit, which I cannot insert with one hand. Okay, I don't torque it down, I just loosely screw it in. It's kind of loading a revolver, isn't it? Well, turn the cylinder, drop a bullet in. Okay, there's no turning part and talking down part, but anyway, you know what I mean. Okay, still just, yeah, hand tight. All four of them. And now everything's fitting perfectly. I start to torque them really down. So I must say they weren't torqued down that much from the start. So yeah, I'm limiting myself here a little bit. Okay. Let's plug this in, turn it on, and <laughs> see if it turns. It turns. Okay, it turns and it sounds. It sounds perfectly normal. Okay. Now I can back to my other video and complete that. And uh, yeah, I'm happy I hadn't. I had, did not have to buy some spare parts. That would have been yeah, uh, annoying. Anyway, till next time. Bye.